the digital economy is in full swing right now. Uh, I've just picked here three random numbers. You can see uh, the projected, um, what is it, 200 billion of Internet of Thing devices, uh, which will create a whole array of new business processes. Just think of, of one little device. Uh, it's, it's about that size here. Um, we just recently got it. It's a multi-sensor device uh, from Texas Instruments. And what al that allows you to do is you can, for example, if you're in the, in the, in the food business, you can put such a device inside of the packets and track, for example, um, the temperature. You can track how long is the duration of the journey. You can track a lot of additional information and should, for example, the temperature go above a certain level, you can raise an alert and act accordingly. That will give us a completely new process quality that we have not seen in the past. So a lot of new capabilities are coming online that we want to use. Obviously, uh, the challenge is we need to cope with all of the data. Therefore, we will have transactional environments, but we will also have big data environments, very large federated big data environments, where the data comes together, gets analyzed, and then we see what the results are, which then trigger business processes in itself. And Already today, 74% of all companies who we are working with are working or have already developed smart products and that journey will continue onwards. SAP's strategy uh, is best visualized here in this picture and you can see we have the digital business backbone with S4HANA and business by design and they form the digital core. But what is equally important are the adjacent line of business solutions, uh, be it the workforce engagement. Uh, it's preaching to the choir. Everybody knows that the core asset of each and every company is the workforce. And you need to develop the workforce on an ongoing basis. Therefore, the whole topic of the line of business human resource management is absolutely critical. Uh, supplier collaboration business networks. What started in the 90s that uh, I talked about that the business processes no longer ended at the barriers of the legal structure of a company, but that you collaborate with your customers and your suppliers. That will continue. And specifically, if you think about the IoT scenario that I talked about a minute ago, um, that is a new quality and that will go on um, for the next 10, 20 years at least. Uh, closely related here to the assets, the Internet of Things, that is so important. Uh, that is also the key motivation for SAP to drive all of the investment around the SAP cloud platform so that our customers can consume from us uh, the, the core business applications that we can provide and that we can standardize to a certain degree. But when it comes to unique IoT scenarios or big data scenarios, we want to provide our customers with a platform so that they can build these scenarios on their own. And last but not least, customer experience. Customer experience is how you interact with your customers. That can be the web shop, that can be a myriad of other capabilities, but these, this is the big picture. And SAP summarizes all of this uh, in this one visual and that explains where we will go as a company. Uh, we've also are using uh, the key terms HANA for the in-memory database which is the key driver for all of those capabilities and then SAP Leonardo as the umbrella term for all of our activities that we drive around blockchain, machine learning, big data, and further IoT scenarios and other capabilities that we provide to all of our customers.